Hey Cougs, welcome to AUH, where our reporters have been on the prowl to give you the latest news and events happening right here on campus. I'm Nicole Blanton. And I'm Danielle Malagheri. Let's get to it. UH shows its diversity in a unique way as it holds the 7th Annual University of Houston Library's Student Art Exhibition. 30 selected works from rising UH artists will be displayed, and Art Library Supervisor Chris Conway says the showcase illustrates the staggering diversity that comprises the UH community. Students and the public are invited to experience this collection on the third floor of the MD Anderson Library through April 25th. Indian culture enriches not only UH, but Houston as well. To learn more about the growth of the UH India Studies program and the Indian community of our campus and city, come join award-winning author Amitav Ghosh as he delivers his lecture, From Bombay to Canton, Traveling the Opium Route to 19th Century China. The lecture will be held Thursday, April 10th from 7 to 8.30 at the Asia Society Texas Center. It's free and open to the public and will be followed by a book signing and question and answer segment by our very own UH professor, Chitra Devakaruni. For more information, visit asiasociety.org. Can't get enough of Frontier Fiesta? Well, no worries, because UH is presenting Frontier Fiesta, the greatest college show on earth. The exhibit chronicles three different Frontier Fiesta eras, starting from the beginning in 1940. Students can view vintage programs, photographs, apparel, and much more from the past events. The display is on the first floor of the MD Anderson Library and will be available until June 6th. Hey Lady Cougs, do you have any new or gently worn women's suits? Well, make room in your closet by donating these items to the Career Services Center's Dress for Success Suit Drive. The suits will be given to women who are entering the workforce but are unable to afford new attire. This week-long event starts March 24th through the 28th and is sponsored by the Women's Resource Center. Drop off your donation at the Career Services Center at the UC North, room 201, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. For more information, visit www.dfshouston.org. UH libraries are now offering a series of technology training courses. The courses, which are open to UH students, faculty, and staff, cover Microsoft Office programs, Adobe, iMovie, Photoshop, and more. The classes are divided by skill level and run from 30 minutes to two hours. There are morning and afternoon sessions, and seating is limited to about 15 students. To view the full training calendar, visit the UH library website's technology training section. UH Counseling and Psychological Services is holding Food for Thought workshops free for all UH students. From managing anger, dealing with stress, relationship communication, and more, CAPS offers helpful information for these issues many college students go through. Workshops are held from noon to 1 in the Student Service Center Conference Room 210D. To see the full Spring 2014 schedule, visit the CAPS website Hey Cougs, can't get enough of the new UC? Well, neither can we. That's why we sent our very own at UH reporter, Brittany Taylor, to give us some updates. Brittany? It's finally here. Writings on the wall? More like inspiring words from the University of Houston remodeled UC. Since reconstruction, the new UC has brought life to campus for many students. Whether it's bowling, playing pool with friends, or even a friendly competition of ping pong. This is just the first step of improving campus life for students. I really like the new, the new UC design. I love the stairs, uh, how it's created and how everyone can sit. And also, I love, I love the express lines that we have now. It's uh, much quicker, much faster, and uh, the launch is great. Um, it's more relaxing. I, I really like the liveliness of the, the whole UC and the color and um, the cool letters that go across the windows is awesome also. If you saw what it was before and then now, it's crazy. It doesn't even look like the same place, but uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty neat, it's pretty cool. Better chance to hang out. Don't think I'd really study here just because there's so much going on, uh, but to hang out or get together and eat or downstairs in the game room, definitely. I think it's really nice. You know, uh, UH has been kind of dead, you know, with all the construction going on in the UC that shut down 
So, I mean, the new UC is live. It used to be so that a lot of people would go and eat, like, at home and everything, but I think a lot of people, more people are eating here now that they have a place to hang out. And it looks, you know, it's brand new. It looks like a mini mall, so it's like, it's real dope. The new UC is a sight to U of A students now have better opportunities than the old UC. Regardless if you want to come here and play video games with your friends or new friends, dine out at the new restaurants that we have here, or go to more of the quiet areas to do some homework. Signing out at U of A, I'm Brittany Taylor. Hey Cougs, I'm Cassidy's son with At UH. With us today we have SPB leaders Sana Shahid and Jonathan Davis who are in charge of the SPB Cougar Games. Hi guys and thank you for being here with us. Hi, thank, thank you for, you having, for having, us. having us. So this is UH's first Cougar Games. Can you tell us what it's about? Well, what it's going to be is it's going to be a fieldy event, but what we're also going to try and do is get a coveted spot in the Guinness World uh, Record Book by breaking three different world records on that day. What are the games that you guys plan to, pl to break the record on? Uh, we have three records. So the first one is going to be the most amount of people popping bubble wrap at the same time. Ooh. <laughs> it will be fun. Then we're going to have the most amount of people thumb wrestling at the same time. And then we're going to have the most amount of people fist bumping at the same time. So it should be really fun. Everyone loves bubble wrap. <laughs> also, it can, is this open for all UH students? Yes. 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 So what about all... faculty? Anybody who wants to join, I mean, we need as much people as possible. So anybody who wants to join is going to be at Lynn Houston Park. So it's going to be open to the public, everybody in U of H. So faculty, staff, students, <laughs> chefs, anybody who wants to join, they can join. And who, in these games you guys have, are there any prizes for people who win? Yes, we do have prizes. We have gift baskets for all the winners. And you also get a chance to be part of um, making history if we do get into the Guinness Book, book of World True. Records, so. Also, why did you guys call it the Cougar Games? Because it's inspired by the Hunger Games, which is a very popular book and movie series. And so we're gonna try to have, we're having archery, we're having different competitions like Minute to Win It so people can compete against each other. We're also having inflatables, uh, tug of war, and also we're giving out, it's gonna be free shirts and free food at the event also so we can bring out more people. And we just want everybody to have a good time and compete with each other and just show cougar spirit. No one's dying in this, right? No, 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 one's, no deaths. Not that <laughs> day. Not that day, okay, good, that's good. So when, can you tell us what day is it on and what time? It's on the 27th of March, two to six, we have our uh, game event. And then at 8 p.m. it's gonna be followed by the viewing of Catching Fire. Awesome. Yeah. Is there any, anything else interesting you would like to share for people who are interested in going? It's going to be awesome. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. I mean, it's like, you know, just come out. It's like the old days where you have to used to have a field day and just have a whole bunch of fun. Just have fun. Enjoy yourselves. Hang out with friends. Play. Enjoy the games. And just have a good time. Free food, too. And if you are part of Breaking the World Records, you're going to be going down yeah. in history. Like, that it isn't done very often. So right. you'll be part of something really yeah, big and really great. You'll be in the Guinness Book. I mean. <laughs> Nothing's better than that. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you guys for your time. This has been Cassidy Sun with At UH. If you'd like to find out more information, please visit facebook.com slash SPB and you can go to their events page. Have a great day. Thanks so much for joining us again on At UH. Remember to like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash At UH. And also check us out on YouTube at SVN Channel 6. I'm Danielle Malagari. And I'm Nicole Blanton.